In the heart of 15th century England, nestled deep within the dense, ancient woods of Nottinghamshire, lay the quaint village of Wickwood. Surrounded by towering oaks and guarded by an eerie mist, Wickwood had long been home to a chilling secret that struck terror into the hearts of its inhabitants. As the villagers gathered around the roaring fire in the local tavern, the wind howled outside carrying with it the dread that had plagued their peaceful hamlet for generations. Stories were told of a monstrous creature, a beast born of the unholy union between man and wolf, known as the Wickwood Werewolf. With each full moon, the beast would rise from its slumber and descend upon the village, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Its fur as black as midnight, and eyes that gleamed with malevolence, the werewolf was the embodiment of terror itself. It struck without warning, tearing homes asunder and spilling blood beneath the pale, silvery light. Desperation had driven the villagers to take up arms, forging silver-tipped canoes and burning a small militia to protect their homes. They held torches high and gathered at the village square, their voices trembling with a mix of fear and determination. On this fateful night, the full moon cast an eerie glow upon the village, and the villagers watched with bated breath as the werewolf emerged from the shadows. Its monstrous form silhouetted against the moonlit backdrop. It moved with uncanny speed and grace, leaping from rooftop to rooftop with unnerving agility. The werewolf struck first, its claws slicing through the night air, and before the villagers could react, it was upon them. Men screamed in agony as they fell, their silver-tipped spears useless against the beast's ferocity. The village square was bathed in blood as the werewolf tore through the defenders one by one. In the aftermath, Wickwood lay in ruins, its homes reduced to rubble, and the air thick with the stench of death. The werewolf, sated and triumphant, disappeared into the depths of the forest, leaving behind a village shattered not only in body but also in spirit. As the survivors mourned their losses, they knew that their fight was far from over. The Wickwood Werewolf would return, for it was a curse that could not be undone, a terror that would haunt their village for generations to come. And so, as the moon waxed and waned, the villagers of Wickwood lived in perpetual fear, knowing that their efforts to stand up to the beast had been in vain and that the night would inevitably belong to the monstrous creature that called their village home.